All right, we want to welcome Dana Newquist to West of Tulsa, and we're going to look at his beautiful platypus that started as, what, an airplane, right? It was, it started its life as a 1948 Republic CB, and uh, I found it up at uh, Funky Junk in Fillmore, and it was up in a rack, and I, I looked at it for years, and a guy named Steve owned the shop where it was. And so I bugged him, I said, what are you gonna do with that? He says, well, someday I'll get to it. Well, after four or five years, he never did anything with it. So I asked him if he'd sell it to me. He gave me a price and I said, okay, I'll buy it if you move it over to the Murphy Auto Museum where Mike Gossard is. So that's how I obtained the platypus. So that is where you, and you had a fight for a while to convince him to sell it to oh, you. Oh yes. Finally get it. So all this is hand-formed this aluminum. Is all, all hand-formed. Well, yeah. walk us around and, and show us some of the high points. Well, a lot of this is my creation. These pods, we had to figure out, you know, how big a wheelbase we wanted. Especially the biggest problem is steering. Okay, so where are you gonna put the front wheels? Anyway, this is what we landed on. And what's really cool about this, we've got these pods. Oh, I see how that works. So right here, you can see how it separates. Yes. That is very Isn't clever. that cool? Yes. And another feature, take a look at your headlights. They're set inside the fender itself. And these, I decided, these are kind of 30-ish. Kind of an Art Deco, almost yeah. like an Art Deco yeah. feel to it, yeah. So I like those, so we yeah. incorporated those. And Bruce said, I'll cut them out, but you have to finish them. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this little guy right here, that's probably five hours to finish this. But we want these to turn out like a little piece of jewelry. Sure. And they did. That's so. great. Anyway, you know, we could go on and on and on with the different features of this, but what I, some of the, the important ingredients on this, um, these windows, now the actual shape of the fuselage has come down about two inches. So it looks a little bit more aerodynamic than it did before. So somebody could actually look in this back window and they'll see the, the is, is this a, the fuselage is a 48 airplane, but the motor is also a 40 air it's, motor. Yeah, wow. I had a thousand different drivetrains that I could pick on or work with. And so I was talking to Chip Foose and uh, he says, well, just, it's a 48 airplane. He says, why don't you go vintage and get a, a 48 flathead? So we searched for a 48 flathead. We got a Merc and we rebuilt the Merc, and we tied it to a C4 transmission, which is an automatic, which really makes it much easier to work with. Um, so, as you may know, flatheads are pretty hot, hot running. Yeah. So you need a lot of ventilation, and, and you see these? Yeah, head up these, here. Yeah. These are scoops. Yeah. Well, that's for your air intake. Okay. These are air uh, scoops for your radiators, and we've got one on each side. And anyway, so in the back, you've got kind of a flow through, so heat will exhaust back here. Okay, so one last question. Sure. How'd you come up with platypus? What is it? What has that got to do with it? I was just, lo I was looking for some kind of crazy name. As you know, I have lots of crazy cars. Yes, you do. And uh, anyway, so I thought, ah, let's try, let's try something different. So I, I call it platypus and it kind of stuck whether I stay with that or not, I don't know. But let me show you the only piece of this airplane that's actually original, that'd be the door. Okay. Okay, that's the only piece. Other than that, everything here was hand formed by Bruce over here. Beautiful. Who is just an artist. Amazing job, and I love it. The rivets can keep the airplane theme going, and you can tell it was an airplane at one point. You can. We're probably a year away from driving this. And, and you'll bring it to West of Tulsa? When, uh, probably when it's so. Oh, we love if it. If I'm right. invited, yes. <laughs> oh, you're always invited <laughs> okay. with any one of your crazy cars. <laughs> All right, West of Tulsa. We'll see you, we'll see you West of Tulsa.